Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 13th of August. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is the weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. So this week we have Nearmap, Appen, 5G Networks, Self Wealth, and Kingston Resources. So if you have a request, send it through. Make sure you've signed up to the free newsletter. If you enjoy these videos, we'd love you to leave us a review on Facebook or Google. Remember, our core business is portfolio management, so if you need extra help with your portfolio, please let me know. And remember, any advice here is general only. So this is a daily chart of Nearmap. So we could see that um, the uptrend in March is still in place. So I'm seeing higher highs and higher lows. Um, even most recently, when the stocks pulled back from its peak in July, um, it's still holding onto this this low so the trend is still in place um, but what we're seeing here is clearly the formation of a symmetrical triangle so that's a consolidation pattern and I think it's quite interesting to see that so as we could see we've had a rally now it's consolidating the range is tightening and now it's just a case of I'm just waiting to see which direction it breaks in I mean of course it could break to the downside but Generally, it'll break in the direction of the prior trend, which was up. So I think if you see a break above this line, um, you may well see a, a swift rally in near map uh, and perhaps even a retest of this um, clear level here at $3, which seems to have offered a bit of resistance in the past. So um, I think near map's one to watch. Okay, Appen. So also a very nice trend off the off the lows in March. Um, most recently it's um, so we could see most recently it's tried to go to a new high but it's just failed um, which I guess is an initial sign of concern but but when you look at the way it's traded um, we could see that you know the pullback here was was fairly corrective and, and fairly well supported still. Um, and again, it sort of jumped pretty quickly. Uh, and again, the move the move back is um, fairly corrective. So to me, it still looks well supported. Um, I think it's probably just consolidating here. Um, we may well just see a bit of a you know a bit of a horizontal sort of range potentially um, for Appen um, before it's ready to to head higher. So 5GN, um, this one's done, well, it's still doing extremely well. Um, we first looked at this in late May in our Tuesday report, the Dynamic Investor. Um, if you haven't had a free trial of that, make sure you sign up. Um, but we identified the breakout here and we could see that it's been trading really well. So very nice sort of rally off out of this consolidation. And then you get another consolidation, another breakout and a buy signal. Um, and here we are up towards $1.80. So I think it's just consolidating again. Um, nothing wrong with the way this is trading. Um, I'd probably draw a line under this low. We could see that when it eased back here, it bounced quite strongly off $1.60. So I think I'd, you know, I'd use that as the, as the stop level, let it let it move around here to consolidate, but if it deteriorates under this level, I'd use that as the signal to take profits. Okay, self wealth. Um, you know, decent rally here. Um, now it's been pulling back. It does look corrective. So what I mean by that is, you know, we could see that you know, at the point where it went from about forty-five cents to sixty-five, it happened pretty swiftly and quickly on strong volume. Um, and then since then it's come back to 45 cents in a longer period of time. So, you know, the, the bears don't have control of this, um, but you do need to draw a line uh, at some point and, and not let it just continue to deteriorate. So, um, you know, the pullback's been on lower volumes. We can see that um, this previous rally point, 45 cents, I think that low has to be the one that needs to hold. We could see yesterday a bounce off the low with a bit of volume coming in. So that, in my opinion, really needs to lead to a, uh, a rally from here. I think if it, 
again deteriorates under 45, um, I'd be pulling the pin. Be keeping a tight, tight stop on that one. Okay, and finally, Kingston Resources. So it looks like it looks like this 20 cent level was a was a key level it needed to overcome, which it did in early July, which is good. It's come back and retested that, so it's come back close to 20 cents and then bounced off it, which is good. Um, most recently, it went to a new high, but intraday it was sold down straight away. So, you know that that is a slight concern. Um, I think that in terms of the, the trend, looking at the highs and lows, I treat this as the line in the sand. So pretty much 20 cents. Um, you know, you have to allow it a lot of room to move. As you could see, it's a it's a volatile stock. So um, I think as long as it stays above 20 cents, you've still got an uptrend there. All right, that's all for today. Um, if you have a request, please send me your stock. We get a lot of requests, but I'll try to include yours for you.